Thanks very much, Ken. Uh, Anthony Joseph from Alfred E. Chave in Brisbane, wholesaler and exporter of uh, fresh fruit and vegetables. So directed at Hermani and TAF, uh, you know, the elephant in the room about uh, efficiencies in supply chains, like the commercial reality of it and where the industry is at the moment is, um, is quite confounding. And uh, when you step onto farms and talk with growers about uh, their own personal commercial aspects of the trade, it, there's no uh, real pathway forward. You know, you've got money that might be coming in to pay them directly, so all your hard work into delivering value in supply chains can get circumvented by, you know, a, uh, an overseas buyer coming across and just paying for things up front. So uh, just in your experience and um, work in the area, I'd like to understand from a fruit and vegetable point of view, are there any projects in the pipeline or any discussions taking place in that regard? Only first and Sharmana after. So quickly. Um, is this on? Yeah. yeah. Um, thank you very much. The, having worked in the fruit and vegetable industry for about 10 years until uh, I sort of switched into ports and port logistics for a while, um, I can tell you there were there were many and there were a number of, of opportunities for fruit and vegetable growers to be connecting in with IT systems that would be designed for specifically that, that particular market. And they were B2B trading systems and we're actually working on a number of them at the moment with e-commerce programs with um, the Food Growth Centre. Uh, and we're working on a number that will actually help fruit and vegetable growers to be able to identify the market, get the really great market information and the analytics to be able to, to access markets better. In terms of the communication systems, we're also working on e-commerce programs to actually facilitate that as well. Um, so actually, Food Growth Precinct, I think, could be a really good um, port of call. And that's where also they, are, 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 they are sort of exist as a catalyst to be able to then attempt to get um, good government program funding to support the industry, and particularly um, small and medium operators, and medium being a generous description, um, working in global markets. And I think they're really important, because otherwise our growers um, have so much that they're dealing with. Uh, Taff, would you like to add anything to that? Uh, probably not so much to the uh, logistics in horticulture, yeah, which have been answered. Push them, push um, the microphone, I would yes. respond maybe to the question around capital that was raised in part of that question where you're finding a lot of farmers are getting money from overseas and people are buying their farms. Is that, is that part of your question? Well, they, they, they come to market, they'll come to market with money to buy the crop off, off the line. So any investment in supply chains goes out the window because of a strong commercial aspect in, in a region that, you know, is because there's a supply issue out of South America, for example. Yep. Yeah, so maybe that one goes mainly to the impact of what's happening globally um, and how that is driving our demand and supply locally. So I probably don't have a direct answer to that, save to say, you know, we just need to have stronger relationships. Um, and it's probably something that Rebecca touched on where we need a whole of supply chain, not just one commodity. Um, the whole of Australia needs to be working together and we need to have platforms that allow for that to happen. As a bank, we are interested in bringing people together across a value chain and we're very big on that. Uh, we're supporting regions and we're trying to bring people within those regions closer. We do have um, networks across the world that are coming in and perhaps maybe it goes to the point you're trying to make. Um, but when farmers are looking to get value, sometimes they'll look everywhere. But I think stronger relationships locally would be an answer to that. Is there anybody who's got a very quick question? If not, I'd like everybody to express their appreciation for our four participants. It's a subject that, or a series of subjects that could occupy at least two to three days of discussion. Um, but they've summarised it into what I think is a series of very valuable contributions. So if you could express your appreciation.